Gemini. How are you doing, Gemini? Uh, Gemini, this is your daily reading for June 15th. Yeah, June 15th. How you doing, Gemini? Gemini, you might be needing some time to rest. Calm your mind. Just ease your mind for a bit, you know. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy what you have. Uh, I've been getting this vibe for your whole weekly reading. You know, you might have been, uh, you might, you might be a hot chili pepper right now. Uh -huh. You're experiencing new beginnings. I think that's why uh, you might want to press on the brakes a bit, you know? For your reading, I get the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. So, really, you might be caught up in your head about something. You might be feeling some sort of anxiety, some sort of uh, situation that's keeping you up, getting in your head. Uh, a situation that's really kind of bothering you, you know. Uh, you might be feeling like uh, your energy is being disrupted, your energy is being cut off, your you're being uh, <sighs> there's something that's bothering you, there's something that's uh, holding you. And what I'm truly seeing is like you might just be needing some time to just rest, you know, calm your gears, just take time for yourself, you know. You have too much souls, you have too much uh, things going on at once, you know. You might just want to hold back for a bit you know i understand we all gotta get somewhere we all gotta get some things done but sometimes we just you know sometimes we just need that time for ourselves um how i'm saying this reading is uh you get the hermit on the ten of pentacles uh it could be maybe um you might have been patient about a situation, public finances, or uh, getting together with somebody, or you know, experiencing some sort of happiness with somebody, you might be in that state of mind, just being patient, and it might be really like you running out of patience. You know, 
it's uh, causing you to feel a bit uh, impatient, you know. I don't want to say that, but <sighs> there's something that's keeping you up. And in your waking life, it's causing you to get in touch with yourself, you know. And as soon as that Ten of Pentacles hits, I see you as the fool and the high priestess, you know. I see you really happy. I see you really enjoying that the spotlight you're in. I see you really enjoying the new lands you're facing. I see you really enjoying where you're heading, you know. And with the high priestess, I really think um, you might need some time for yourself. Like I said, rest after these souls you've been through, after this time you just came out of. Just take some time to get in touch with yourself, you know. Your energy might have been all over the place. Your energy might have been, um, you know, divided through so many people because I get the three of uh, cups and the two of cups, you know. Um, there is also this victory that's taking place, you know. There is this victory, this union, this... Um, there's a situation you are in and uh, it gives you a victory. It's going to give you a victory, a sense of victory too. Uh, if this is a relationship you're in, it could be like a third party and you don't mind, but you know, you, you, you're involved in a situation that it has friends, you know, people you enjoy to be around and it's gonna create that sense of victory. And as soon as that victory takes place, as soon as that victory occurs, I really see you uh, deciding to take time for yourself and give a cup to yourself, you know, give some time for yourself. And with the Page of Wands, with the page of ones, I really think um, there is some movement, some slow and steady movement. Some slow and steady movement towards, you know, self care. Um, slow and steady movement to your power, slow and steady movement um, as you experience this false energy. Because we might get a bit out of our, our character to just, you know, go crazy, go down, just, just, because with this happiness, it just makes you a bit spiky, you know, just <laughs> sharp. And uh, with the Page of Wands, I really think, uh, you know that you're standing on, you might be also in another situation that you're standing on thin ice. But you're heading in the direction to fix it. No, man. Um. With, um, with the nine of cups. Um, I see a wish come true. Um, it might have been delayed or you might have been waiting on it. Uh, that's why I keep saying that patience. You might have uh, long awaited it. I feel like it's a, it's a wish that puts you in power of giving and receiving, you know. It's a, it's a wish that just, you know, balances what you give and what you give yourself. And that, this Nine of Cups, this um, happiness that's happening, it's um, it's gonna move you forward. It's gonna move you forward in terms of, uh, I'm not rushing things. I really wanna enjoy this happiness. I really wanna enjoy what I have around me. I really wanna enjoy this, this feeling I have, this sense I have, you know? Um, With the six of pentacles and the four of pentacles, you might be, um, you know, in a situation of, like I said, giving. Uh, you might be a provider to some people. You might give off some good energy. You might be a salesman. You might be a businessman. And you might want to check on how much you save, keep, and invest. Uh, you know, you might, yeah. You might want to keep an eye on that because um, after that 
four of pentacles, the fool, and the four of pentacles sideways. So you might want to watch that in terms of keep watch not to overspend and keep watch, you know, on how much you save and keep. Um, you got to remember the reason why the high priestess is here, the fool to the high priestess. It's uh, you enjoying this moment, you enjoying this uh, new beginnings, this exciting uh, thing that's coming over. But you got to keep in mind that something is dead and over with. There's a situation that you were in in the past that's done. You know, that's just, it's, it's dead, it's over with. So you looking back, it's really going to, um, it's going to hold you back from your options, I would say. It's going to, I don't know why. A high priestess, the death card, and the seven of cups in reverse. Um... Just remember there was a situation you walked away. It wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't beneficial. So it might be best to drop it. And you you might need to be strong. With the chariot, things around her or him, they're not steady. They're not stable. It's war and chaos, you know. Remember that you're in a situation that is conflicted. So you might really want to remember that you walked away from something in the past. And this is a call for you to be brave and just move forward, High Priestess. Don't let this happiness get to you. Just enjoy it, but just get in touch with yourself. Enjoy it, be stupid, go wild, but please just in touch with yourself. Cause the death card, when when death card and the chariot shows up, it's kind of like something is dead done with, and it needs you to be strong and move forward from it. The Empress. The Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups in reverse. It's kind of like uh, you're being presented with a, a, another opportunity, a power opportunity, or you might be taking action towards something that you believe is going to add value to you in terms of uh, uh, status. Uh, with the Empress, it's kind of, it's, it's more of, um, you have a plan, you know, uh, you have this light around you, you have this glow. You have this power, you have this uh, divine feminine. I don't know why I keep throwing that word out, but I just, I feel like every female uh, in, in this terror, you know, the high priestess, the empress, the queens, the all those queens, you know, I just feel like they possess this uh, divine feminine energy, but like how you get in touch with yourself, how you feel yourself, how you want to illuminate that energy feeling, you know, It means a lot, I would say. So step in that Empress energy and just be bold with your action. You might be having ideas come to your mind, you know. Think about them before you take action. Is it really worth it? Is it going to be beneficial? And with the Seven of Pentacles, it might be a good time, you know, to just put your options on pause. It might be a good time to put the options you have in front of you on pause. There's one thing that needs you to be focused on. There's one thing that needs you to take action. One thing alone. It's an ace. It's the only ace I have in here. There's a... There's something. There is a calling for you. To be brave. Brave with the chariot too. Power. Leadership. Just keep that in mind. And... All other options, they're not, they're not, you know, they're not. Just just put them on pause. If they're the options, they're going to be there. If something that's meant for you is going to be there. If it wasn't meant for you, it will it will never come back. But just put your options on pause and they might go away if these are people. Just let them run off. They might just wild out in different places. But those that, that that's meant for you, those that are meant for you, they will stick around. I see you reading.